What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Matthew Snow's the Gold Crease Guardian here. It's crossover time in the Sunday A-League. Let's go. We've got the Kings who we tried to play last year. Their goalie wasn't there. So we won by forfeit. But the video was up on the channel. It was a lot of fun just kind of playing because we had traveled to see him. And we traveled down there to see him again this time. Uh, so let's see if we can get our second win of the season. First with me there because I missed our only win of the season so far due to a uh, trip or something. I can't remember, but this is a huge save. Woo! Glove save on the rebound. We love to see these things coming across full split. Look at this. Man, oh man, everyone loves a flashy glove save to start off. Uh, great to see, really good. We are um, short benched again. I think we've got eight players in this one. And uh, they have a full, full roster. So one of those kind of nights, as is typical recently for us, hopefully we can find a way to get a few goals here early on and build a lead so that we can kind of uh, just do our thing. Oh, also I forgot to mention that the uh, camera at the other end died, like, a minute into this game for some reason. Not really sure why. These guys play a lot like Lucent. They've played together for a long time. Um, from what I remember even in the Down River League when I was down there. They had played together a long time, so they are used to playing together. They play a good, solid game together, and it shows when they're on the ice. So hopefully we find a way to just get a few, just find a few cracks, because right now everything is from the outside, and their goalie is doing a good job picking those pucks off. And it's going to be hard for me to do anything about this one. This one tipped down in front through a screen, and as I go to cover, he picks it out and tucks it top shelf. It's a good goal. It really is. Not much I'm going to do on that one, uh, especially if two guys are in front there. Oh, well. Look at the puck movement on this, and just a nice save standing on my feet. That's the kind of stuff we like to see from me. And, uh, I mean, the puck movement from them is spectacular. Down at the other end, he made a really nice save going across crease, and uh, everything else is just getting sucked up, no rebounds. Good stop on the two-on-one there. Puck went across, just beat it on my feet again, doing the little things there and this is a bit unfortunate for me as he comes into the middle and just goes between my body and my arm <sighs> that's tough um i committed to being down too early and i think that's the biggest part of the problem as we turn this puck over good stop really good stop there so just being committed to being down too early was the problem and that's just a problem because he's got all sorts of time um, yeah, way too much time in front as we have the period come to an end. You can see this guy spins out wide open. I push up to my feet and just, yeah, I've got to commit to the fake. He's got all the time in the world in front and is able to bury. And now it is three to nothing after the first period. So we don't love that to, to be, to be sure. But, um, crazier things have happened in these games so you never know we could make a nice comeback and that was a that was a close close 
chance there with the between the legs move. good stop on that puck as he came through on a mini breakaway in the slot and then that one kind of up off of me is just really nice patience on my feet again being there and exploding over to make that save Good poke check on that one, just preventing them getting anything to the net. They're trying to work that puck out front after that play, so if I can get a stick on it and prevent that, that's always good. And a uh, couple of awkward looking ones there, but it gets the job done, especially the rebound was a bit weird. That's a nice play. Fake to the forehand, give myself lots of time. It helps that it's men's league and he's not really pressuring that hard, but Either way, really good to do that, just the fake and give myself a chance to open up a little bit of space and time. Meanwhile, at the other end, he's just making saves and we cannot break through at all. That was a sneaky one. Nearly got that one in. But again, a clinic and rebound control from him as far as I'm concerned. Just pucks are sticking to him and finally we get one to go as this puck bounces off of him, across the crease, into the empty net. We needed that. Now it's only three to one and uh, we'll take that. And those two saves are huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> the guy at center ice thought they had that. First two saves on the breakaway save on the pad and then on the toe and then I come out here I'm looking for him to shoot this right away and I know he's got a chance to elevate so I stack he waits looks for the backdoor pass and they miss so we will take that all day long keeping it three to one that's a big sequence of saves there right after we uh, get the opening goal for us Oh, another chance that we just cannot get through off of his glove and down. I mean, every single chance we get right now is just, just off. And naturally they come down and get the between the legs. You can see he's a right-handed shot. I'm trying to kind of prevent him from going across. He goes between the legs, back against the grain, over my glove hand, and scores to make it four to one. Good goal. Really nice goal. I would like to have it personally, just because it's frustrating. But it is a really nice goal. And why not an extra one for good measure? This one, two on one, you can see him open up and just a little bit behind it, getting across to that side. I can't get that leg over there. And uh, two good saves here at the end of the period, but it's gonna be five to one going into the third and that is not how we wanted to uh, have things go as, as we wound this up. Not at all what we had planned and now being down five to one in the third period, it's a tough ask, especially with seven guys in a 15 minute stop game and uh, the ice is gonna be real choppy because there's no cut at the uh, downriver rinks. So we are really gonna be looking for some good bounces here. Like that would have been great, except for the fact that he had a very active stick. Good stop on that one. 
You can see that I'm doing a good job getting down over pucks in this game. Here's another good example, beating that play actually on my feet and then going into an RVH. And then here, telescoping out to make that save. Um, just some good old fashioned goaltending and at both ends really because he just made a great save on that rebound to keep it five to one. Any chance we've gotten, really, he's been all over. Nice there, and the clearance as well. Really important because that one was more of a blocking save that I made there on that three on one. And another blocking type save there, oh boy. <laughs> We're getting away with everything here in this third period. And a quick whistle too. This one, blocking style save on the two on one. He's in too tight for me to do anything else. And then the dive across. Whew. Spinning back glove save. Again, a second puck that I've gone to cover and have not been able to, but that dive back across. Get that glove over there. It was slowed down a little bit by the stick, but still a nice stop there. Uh, diving back across to make a save. We've at least kept it five to one, which is something. Good, stops again here. Guy's able to cut through a bunch of people. That backhand to forehand move and then coming back in really, really nice and I'm able to make two stops on him there. Uh, we're making a lot of saves, but we are down and out in this one a little bit, I think, right now. Okay, we got two. We got two, I mean, I guess five to two. There's like nine minutes left in this game. Anything could happen in theory, right? Especially if we had buried that one that hit his toe. That would have made a big difference. Good stick on that one in front. Not letting that puck get to a more dangerous player in front of the net, and this is supreme patience and good defense, making sure that that puck uh, didn't get to the back door there. But supreme patience on a guy who had plenty of time in front, and then a good glove and a quick whistle. Um, but, you know, again, we're making the saves. We really are, we've kept this, I mean, We've kept this five to two, that's a really bad turnover, but we've kept this five to two in a scenario where it could have been much, much worse. And a game where we really aren't that far off as we score another one to make it five to three. Like, we're only a couple of bounces away from being ahead in this game. And uh, stops like that help, every little bit helps as we close in on the last few minutes of this one. That was probably a chance that we needed to bury, to be honest, and of course that one hits him in the shoulder on the tip. Good positional save, and then that one's cleared out by his defense. I mean, they're doing a really good job team defense-wise. He's doing a really good job in net. It's a really good game, back and forth, both sides. But um, we just don't have the scoring touch in this one. Let's see if we can bury one with the empty net here late in the third period. Ooh, close. Let's get another try at this. I didn't mean for them to get another try at it, posting in, naturally. Well, that stinks. <laughs> Looks like that's gonna be a loss too. Another day, another loss. <laughs> we fall to eight and 10 on the year. It was a good game, uh, 48 saves. I played very, very well in it, but 
man, we just couldn't catch a break offensively. It did not help that we only had um, eight guys, and two of them weren't even guys that normally play with us. So that makes the game much tougher, and unfortunately, it leads to another loss. So we're going to hope to get him in the next one, I guess. We had 51 shots. We were doing everything right. Hopefully, in the next game, we can find the back of the net a little bit more. Kind of like we did against uh, Remax in the last game on the channel. That was really nice to have that offensive support. Hopefully, that comes back around next time. And speaking of next time, if you enjoyed the videos, please head down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading. I'm going to continue to upload very regularly, lots of content to catch up on. So I look forward to bringing that to you all, and I'll see you all in the next video.